Move your mouse up to the top of the screen, click on File, and then go to Open Scene. You're going to want to click on uh, Spaceship ADV for Advanced. So just double click on that file to open it up. So here we have our reference images in the side, front, and top panel. Let's start by dropping a cube into the origin of the scene. And I'll go to Window, Rendering Editors, and then Hypershade. And I'm going to grab this transparent material and drag it onto the object. And I'm going to close the Hypershade. Let's go over here to the channel box and let's click on Polycube 3. And I want to change the subdivision's width to 2. You can see that divides the object right through the middle there. All right. So I'm going to take this cube and move it slightly to the right. And then I'm going to right click and go to vertex and I'm going to adjust the size of the cube here. And I'll select some of these vertices here and scale them in. All right, I'm going to right click, go to edge, and let's add an edge loop going through the middle here. So let's go to insert edge loop tool, and actually over here in the side panel, let's add the edge loop right here. I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool. I'm going to select two edges, and then hit R and scale these out. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the reference over here. I just want to get this one section of the spaceship to um, line up with my reference image here and over here in the side panel. I'm not worried too much about the front panel and obviously not the perspective panel. So I'm going to right click and go to face and I'll select one, two, three, four faces here. And I'll hit extrude right here and I'm going to go out, hit extrude again and go out. So I'm just going to keep pressing extrude and go to the next line in the pattern here. And now I'm going to right click and go to vertex and I'm going to start to shape this. So I'll press W and move this up. I'm moving the vertices matching up with the with the reference image here. It looks like this can go over here. That looks pretty good. Let's see, let's take our edges here. I'm going to select this edge and move it down a little bit. Select the edge on the top here and move it up slightly just to round it out a tiny bit. And then if we look at the front panel here, I want to kind of bring this in. Right now it's pretty wide. So let's see, I'm going to select two edges right here in the front and I'll press R and I'm going to scale them in. And maybe take these edges you 
can see these four edges here. Bring them in. Okay. So let's now go in the opposite direction. I'm going to select these four faces here and I'll press extrude and I'm going to go to the next line here. I'm just going to press extrude two more times to go to the end of the pattern here. So for the wings, uh, let's see here. Well, actually, before we do that, let's just, we'll just delete one side. So you just want to right click, and go to face, select all the faces on this side, and press delete. So now I'm going to come in, I'm going to select three faces towards the bottom and back of the spaceship. Hit extrude, and let's go out. And I'm going to go in here, and let's see here, let's scale it down a little bit. I'll hit W, move this up, hit E, and rotate it. So I'm kind of prepping the wing here. So I'm just going to hit R right here, and then scale this in slightly. All right, so I'm going to hit extrude, go out, and let's scale it in a little bit. And maybe move it back slightly. I'll hit extrude again, go out scale it in. I'll hit extrude, go out, and then scale this in, move it over. Okay. Let's take this face right back here, hit extrude and go out. And notice that when I rotate, I'm still on the extrude tool. I didn't hit E for my rotate tool. And then I'm just going to press W and move this back slightly. Okay, so how, now we have a new object. We need a cylinder. But before we start doing that rocket engine, let's move all of these uh, vertices, uh, the whole wing, let's move the whole wing up. So I'm going to go to vertex and let's actually scale this down. So the wing gets thinner, right? I want the wing to get thinner as it goes out. And then I'm gonna select all these vertices I'll press E for my rotate tool, then I'll press the home key to toggle my pivot point. If you're on a PC, you're going to press the insert key. If you have a short keyboard on a laptop, you press function and the left arrow if you're on a Mac. So then I'll press home again, and rotate this up, and then we're ready to go. Now we're ready to model the engine right over here. I'm going to click on this cylinder for a, a new object here. I'm just going to put this over here, scale it down, rotate it. We'll change the rotate value to 90. Hit W, 
move this back, and let's line it up with the reference image. So I'll scale it out a little bit. So let's go over here to our perspective panel and let's go in and go to face. I'm going to click and drag a box around the back side of this cylinder. I want to unselect all of these faces in the middle so I'll hold down shift, click and drag a box right here and now I just have the faces in the back selected. So I'll press extrude. Let's take a look over here in the side panel. and I'll press R, scale down. Make sure you scale from the center using this yellow cube. I'm going to extrude again, go out, and I'll extrude again, go out, and then hit R and scale up. Then I'll extrude one more time. Actually, now I'm going to extrude a few more times. So I want to hit extrude again. This time I'm going to click on any of these three boxes, scale from the center, and then press extrude and go in. So now I'm going to click and drag a box around the front side of the cylinder to select all the faces in the front. Then I'll hold down the shift key and click and drag a box right here on the side of the cylinder to unselect these faces. And now I just have those faces in the front selected. Click on the extrude button on the shelf and let's go out and press R. We'll scale down a little bit. Hit extrude, go out, press R and scale down. And one more time, hit extrude out, R, down. All right. So now, what we want to do is combine these two objects. So I'm going to right click, go to object mode, and I will hold down shift to click on the second object right here, and that way they're both selected. So click on one, hold down shift, click on the second object. And then I'll go up to mesh and then go to combine. So now these two objects are one object. Now I need these three faces right here. One, two, three. They need to connect with the faces over here. But I don't have three faces to connect with. So what I'm going to do is I will add some edge loops here. So let's see. First I'm going to right click, go to vertex, move these out. I'm going to make this a little bit longer. Next thing I'm going to do is go to edit mesh and then insert edge loop tool. And I'm going to insert an edge loop right here, one right here, one right here, and one here maybe. So that's four edge loops. And now I'm going to hit Q. I'm going to right click and go to face. I'm going to select one, two, three faces here and hit press delete. And let's see, over here I'll select one, two, three faces right here and then press delete. So now we're ready to append these faces. So I'm going to go to Edit Mesh and then Append to Polygon Tool. And I'll click on one edge here and then try and click on the opposite edge right here. That looks good, so I'll press Return. I'm going to press G on the keyboard, G as in good for um, that will bring up the last tool that I've used, which is the append tool. So I will try to append these two edges to create a new polygonal face. Press return. 
I'm going to press G again, click here, and then click on the opposite edge over here, and then press return. All right, let's do the bottom side here. Press G, one edge, two edge, return. Press G, one, two, return. Press G, one, two, return. We gotta cl just close off this shape. So, come in and do that. So now we've connected the engine to the uh, wing here. So let's go over here to the front panel and let's just right click, go to vertex, and let's select all this stuff. Press W and let's just move it a little bit. So at this point, I'm not looking at my reference image. I'm looking at the wing, and I want to make sure that that wing is completely straight. OK. So let's go to Face. I'll right click, go to Face, and let's select one, two, three faces here. And let's hit Extrude. So how do I know I had the right faces? Well. You'll look at your pattern here, and you want this to, it's not going to be in line exactly, but it'll be pretty close. So, for example, if I hit extrude and the faces came out of right here or down here, then I know I selected the wrong faces. So then you would hit undo, press Z on the keyboard and undo, and try and select the faces that are in line with the rest of the wing here. So let's go to the top panel, and I'm just going to scale this out slightly, press extrude. So from here I need to scale in, go back, okay, and now I'm going to select six faces and then press extrude and go up like so. Then I'll press W and I'm going to move this stuff out. Press R, maybe scale it down. And I think at this point I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and move these vertices into the position that I want. And then over here in the top panel I'll hit R and scale this in. I'm going to rotate this so that these edges, these edges are correct. All right, now let's take a look at this overall shape here. And I'm going to select all of these vertices here, press W, and move this up slightly. I'm going to select um, this entire section right here, move it up slightly. So now that we have um, that wing complete, we can work down here for the landing gear. So I'm going to right click and go to face to extrude out the faces for that, except before I do that I need to add an edge loop down here at the bottom. And then I'll press Q, right click, go to face, and then I'll select this face down here and hit extrude. So let's try that one more time. So I'm going to hit extrude, go down, and let's say I scale in a little bit and maybe move this over slightly. And then maybe from here, 
I'll click on this face, hit extrude, go out and down, and let's scale it, rotate, and move it down a little bit. And then let's scale it in. I'll hit extrude, go out, and then down a little more. And I'll scale this in even more. And scale in this direction. I'm going to hit extrude, go out, down. And from here, we're going to switch to this face down here on the bottom. And I'll hit extrude and go down and over. And let's right click and go to vertex. And let's move some of these vertices a little bit. And let's take this and scale it out. And let's see, let's go to face. Select the face on the bottom here, press extrude, go down. And then let's take two faces, one, two, press extrude. Go out, and then let's go to vertex and move these down. And maybe let's select all four of these vertices on both sides and scale those in a little bit. All right, let's right click, go to object mode, and let's go to edit, duplicate special, go to the options box, make sure that we're on, uh, we can just go to copy, scale on X should be negative one, and then hit apply. So let's take this, these two shapes here and let's go to mesh and then combine and then let's merge the vertices so go to vertex let's go to uh, display heads up display poly count let's select these faces these edge these vertices right in the middle We've got 44 let's go to edit mesh and then merge and we're at 22 so we've merged those successfully and the last thing we need to do is extrude down the landing gear on the front here. So let's take these two faces. Let's see here. Actually, let's add two edge loops. Let's go to Insert Edge Loop Tool. Let's add an edge loop here and here. And then we, we can take... If I go to face, we can take these two faces, hit extrude, go down, over, and I can keep extruding and moving. Until we get to the bottom here. And then let's hit extrude one more time. And then let's see. Let's take all the faces in this in that loop and extrude out. Something like that. Go to vertex here. Let's take a look over here. I'm gonna scale this stuff in.
and then let's take uh, let's go to edge double click on this edge and let's scale all that in that looks good right click go to vertex scale this in a little bit all right let's right click go to object mode and we are done